Hey everyone, welcome back to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. Today on the Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna talk about creatine. I've committed to getting this done in two minutes for the first time. I'm gonna tell you 10 things that you need to know about creatine. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Here we go. All right, thing number one, creatine monohydrate is the preferred supplemental form of creatine. For most people, they do just fine with it. Some folks will have GI distress uh, with creatine monohydrate, although that's typically related to the dose or placebo. In fact, in the study that I'm gonna link in the notes below, you see a 39% uh, incidence of diarrhea in folks getting even placebo they, if they think it's creatine. All right, thing number two is dosing. In general, you can do a uh, maintenance dose of 0.045 grams per kilogram body weight per day. If you're gonna load the thing, you can do 0.3 grams per kilogram body weight per day, usually split up into four doses. Uh, if you don't wanna calculate this off body weight, you can do five grams of creatine per day or 20 grams uh, per day split into four different doses for loading. In general, loading has an advantage that it gets to steady state concentrations much quicker, about a week, uh, compared to if you just steady state dosed it from the beginning. If you've already taken creatine, there's no need to load it right now. That being said, you do increase the risk of GI side effects with loading creatine and for not much benefit, to be honest. Thing number three, there are responders and non-responders to creatine supplementation, and in general, this falls into thirds. So a third of people will respond very well, a third of people won't respond at all, and a third will be somewhere in the middle, quasi-responders. This is based on muscle biopsies, uh, looking for creatine concentration in the level of the muscle. So people who respond better tend to have more type two muscle fibers, larger muscles in general, and therefore have a higher potential effect of creatine. All right, thing number four is pretty straightforward. There is no data showing that creatine supplementation is dangerous long-term for any organ system. The stuff that's been looked at the most are kidneys and liver, and there's no evidence to show that creatine is unsafe. However, thing number five, creatine may alter your basal metabolic panel. The serum creatinine level that we use to assess your kidney function may be increased with creatine supplementation. I wrote a whole article about this, which I've linked in the show notes below. Thing number six, uh, it's often attributed that creatine increases your body weight, which is true. During supplementation, uh, it's about one to two kilograms of water weight, mostly at the level of the muscle. This is an anabolic signal, which increases muscle protein synthesis responses to exercise. Thing number seven, people have all these questions about can I take caffeine and creatine together? And yes, you can. Caffeine does not affect the uptake of creatine to the level of the muscle, and creatine does not affect caffeine's effect on muscular performance during exercise. However, during creatine loading, the chance of GI distress is much higher with creatine and caffeine co-administration. So if you're gonna load creatine, I'd probably avoid the caffeine during that time. Other than that, no real issue here. Thing number eight, you do not need to take carbohydrates to increase creatine absorption or uptake into the level of the muscle. That being said, creatine does tend to improve or increase glycogen stores within the muscle, which is another way that it improves performance. Thing number nine, creatine actually increases muscle satellite cell recruitment, which means you get more muscle protein synthesis response per unit of exercise, and ultimately you can increase your muscle's response to training. Thing number 10, creatine's got some pretty decent data out there that it shows improved cognitive ability. Uh, there was a study where they took some vegans and vegetarians and had them do these cognitive tasks. There's a significant improvement in ability to do things like repeat numbers backwards or improve serial tasks that have to do with how fast your, your brain's actually working. So yeah, I would uh, recommend creatine supplementation um, in addition to just exercise benefits. All right, that's all you need to know about creatine. Hope you enjoy this Two Minute Tuesday. If you like the video, hit like below, subscribe, share with all your friends, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. For all the studies and all the links to more of our information, you can check the show notes below, and we'll see you guys next time.